Ah. Almost. Ah, oh, nice. Smashed it. <laughs> All right, I'll take that as a win. Welcome back, everybody. This week we're at Ass Kicker and Relentless. Um, I'm here with Paul, Chris, and Derek, and um, we came here to practice some standing and endurance again. And to, uh, I wanted to come back and uh, try that. Uh, the, the little like step up thing that you saw at the start and I was very happy that this time I actually made it both times without eating shit because the first time I came I went flying this place has changed dramatically since I've last came um, basically the first time I came it was uh, it was the first day the trail had opened right so the there was a lot more mud <laughs> over the stones and uh, I came to discover this that uh, there's a lot more there's a lot more rocks this time, so it is extremely bumpy. So uh, I've, I was having, I'm very happy with my performance here. I'm not sure if I had the same performance last time because last time I came through the through Ass Kicker, it was pissing with rain. Um, well, there you go. I said it in the video. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was a, it's a lot easier when your wheels just not spinning on wet stone. Um, but having said that, I'm still pretty happy with how I'm making it through here um, yeah I, I went the wrong way here because I was, I was clearly looking down too much and not looking forwards from where I needed to go um, but that, you know like that's not the end of the world I, I, I'm just warming up at this point still <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm happy with I'm happy with this uh, Throughout the day, I, I, I was gonna. I keep wait, waiting because you know, like this is new to these nice. guys, and this is not an. Uh, it's not an easy trail like Baxter or Lorden or whatever. So, I don't want to be a complete dick and just ride off and be like, "See you, nerds." <laughs> um, here comes Paul. Chris handled this place no problem. Paul is uh, de de definitely getting pushed to his limits, and here comes Derek. He is extremely happy with his performance through through Ass Kicker. I think he uh, he called it a day after Ass Kicker, um, but was extremely proud that he managed to complete it. Um, so yeah, I would be too if I was. Play, Derek. <laughs> uh, if I was nervous about coming to this place in the first place, I'd, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he would try to send it send it over the whole tree rather than just a little bit. So. Um, yeah, uh, everything is good. I've got new brakes on, a new brake lever, um, having bent it pretty badly. My last one at uh, at the what race was I at? Walton one. Having bent it at the Walton one, and um, I still got a little bit of tendonitis in my elbow from the Walton one. Um, it's not too bad. It's definitely recovering, and like as I record this video and do the voiceover, it's it's improving still. And I've been climbing twice. I haven't, I haven't done any exercise like weightlifting on the elbow. I've just avoided all those exercises this week. I couldn't, I couldn't even push the bar above my head without like thinking, hmm, elbow doesn't feel great. So I just, I just avoided all of that. I've just been doing some stretches, icing it, and that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> here we go. Let's see, can I make it over? <laughs> didn't commit. I, just, I don't know why I didn't, didn't just give it a bit more beans. It's just worried so anyway unnecessarily worried um there's a few swampy parts and the trail here starts to go a little bit wonky um I, yeah we're still on ass kicker right now and um i'm just following the the trail i was like oh, i can't be bothered to jump that there's some ruts on the other side maybe i'll just ride around it i can clearly see the trail here so i'm just like oh, where, to, where to go where to go and as i ride along the trail i'm like oh okay, it's still a trail i think uh Oh, fuck the trail nope. I don't know where the trail's gone now. <laughs> I'm just making my way through. Now I just feel like an idiot. I'm like, where am I gone? This this is taking me wildly off path. There actually is a little uh, orange tag just coming up. I'm like, oh, I'm still on the trail. But we don't need to see all of that. We're just hanging around. Um, the other guys made it past because uh, I was messing around, practicing pivots and turns and stuff like that whilst uh, whilst 
Steve, uh, sorry, not Steve. Uh, whilst Chris's bike cools down because the, the fan had broken on it. Uh, we think it's the fan sensor. I say we. He diagnosed it himself because he went back after this section of trail, and um, basically he uh, bypassed the, the, the thermal switch, and the fan works perfectly fine. So his fan was just on all the time. So as long as he didn't leave the bike idling, it, it shouldn't cause any problems. We unplugged the headlight for extra safety. Just you know to reduce the passive drain, like, you just give more juice to the fan. Kept his bike cool, everything's fine. So, following Paul right now, and he's doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Uh, he's, he's up on the pegs, he's, I still can't quite tell if he's keeping his feet in or not. Nothing, nothing like it was before, it used to be duck feet, which was more, more terrifying. This was really dumb. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. So, as my helmet was getting really sweaty, like my goggles, because it's hot today, my goggles and my helmet were like slowly starting to tilt down. So as I pushed it up, I, when I moved my hand away like slightly earlier, I, I whacked the GoPro and I was like, oh, maybe I knocked it out of place. I come to that corner and I look forward and I'm thinking, there's a straight path. As I, just as I reach to go bloody, <laughs> um, as I reach to go adjust the GoPro, it's fine, I didn't knock it. I slammed straight into a tree and knocked my flat busters off. I mean, that right one's been, knocked out of place for quite a long time. I made that hill climb this time oh, as well. Paul, uh, Paul almost made it. Not quite. Not, not bad. Not bad effort. And Derek. Almost. He didn't know where he didn't even realise this was coming. I think he just started and then was like, oh shit, he was halfway up before he even realised he was doing a proper hill. I say proper hill. A little hill climb. <laughs> having to having to just actually commit. So you can see here, I, I don't remember this level of like bumpiness last time and I think it's because over the year of people riding it and the rain coming down, it's like washed and exposed a lot more rock. So it's really bumpy and it's a, it's a good, it's a good um, practice to make sure you pick good lines and um, just get used to really being up on the bike. And like, like, come on Derek, stand up, there we go. Oh, no. I think he's getting a little tired by now because we're quite far into asking by now, I think. Um, but he's doing a good, good job. Solid effort. And uh, yeah, uh, this, you can't really sit through this stuff. You just get absolutely battered. Um, I don't know, maybe my suspension's not plush enough. But I think it is, but I, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta stand. So yeah, I'm gonna also just release like the video of Relentless um, in its entirety. Just, I, I want to keep like a, a log of it basically for my personal self just so I can like reflect back on what it's like. Um, the only problem is <laughs> because of that I uh, I didn't realize we were going around it in reverse which is like a little bit annoying because then all the hard climbs became easy downhills or I mean they were a little rocky but they weren't like a big deal. Um, but it was it was I think the, the ride is very enjoyable in reverse. It's actually quite, um, I'm trying to describe it, like it's quite nice. Uh, but the, and you get to this bit at the end where I would say this is like the iconic part of it where you're like riding over this really cool, like these slabs and you can hear them rocking back and forth. But as I'm riding along here, I'm definitely thinking, oh yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta really carefully pick your lines. Don't go too fast. Don't do anything stupid. Make sure you don't fall into the crag. Uh, I didn't fall into the crag. By this point, um, Derek, oh, gotta be very careful. Just, I don't see any point like racing through here. Um, and you know, I, I've, I've recorded this whole thing. I'm gonna just release that as one, one big long mega clip. I, I won't voice over it or whatever. It's just nice for the records. So yeah, as I'm just going, you're going on here. You just gotta be careful. It's very cool terrain though, look at this. It's still so cool, I love it. It's getting a bit easier now. Like it's more bumpy, but it's less scary because like you can actually see the, the ground, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. And I've got like um, plastics to protect me. Um, I'm, I'm very glad I have the plastics to protect me, <laughs> just in case, because you never know, like accidents are called accidents for a reason. So I get around the corner and I turn the bike off and I'm like, huh. Where's Chris? Wow. Yep, that'll do. See ya.